Hello and welcome to the STL Tech Talk full review of the TI Inspire CX handheld graphing calculator. Now before I get started on too many specifications here, let me just tell you what this thing can do. It can do functions, parametric polar sequences, 3D graphing, multiple graphing functions can be defined, saved, and graphed, analyzed at one at a time. User defined list names in lists and spreadsheets, 11 interactive zoom features, numeric evaluations and table format for all graphing modes, interactive analysis of function values, roots, maximums, minimums, integrals, derivatives, six different graph six different graph styles. That's pretty amazing. A matrix opter opter operations, transpose and augment matrices. Use elementary row operations, find inverse determinant and reduced row echelon forms. List based one and two variable statistical analysis including logistics and median mean all that. Three statistical plot definition scatter plot advanced statistical analysis including 10 hypothesis testing functions. You have your chi squared, your binomial, your geometric functions, all of the different tables that are on here. You have quick alpha keys, a TI inspired documents compatible with TI inspire software that runs for the iPad, Windows, Android, explore excuse me, mathematical expressions in simple form. And see here that the TI Inspire is just, it's a beautifully designed device right here on the left side. It's a micro USB port so you can plug it into another computer or communicate with other TI devices. And that's Texas Instruments, it's short for TI. And we have here, here's the back of the device. And now the back of it, that's actually a way to get more battery uh, out of this device. Uh, also, there's your reset button back here. Just looking at the hardware here's the front your capacitive it's it's a really neat to have a mouse on a calculator finally i feel like this device really brings us into the 21st century uh, not quite all the way because i wouldn't mind having a touch screen but this is as close as it's going to get for now now with the device comes your power cord and your communication device cord here's a usb that you plug into the charger and this is the micro usb cord that you actually plug into the device itself and this is where you can plug it into your computer as well. And I'll show you that here in just a little bit. Here is the connection to other TI handhelds and graphing devices. So you can share your information across different device schemes. And looking at the 3.5 inch screen diagonal, 320 by 240 megapixels, a DPI 16 bit color, powered by the TI rechargeable battery, which is included. The USB port for computer connectivity, backlit display, 100 megabytes of storage and memory, and 64 megabytes for the operating system. Now you can see here I'm scrolling through the different folders, and this is kind of interesting, and this is, reminds me a, a little bit of a PC. You have your folders where you store your different documents. Now your documents can be spreadsheets, and they can be notes, they can be formulas, they can be all sorts of different things, and I think this is going to be a really fantastic device for all of you who are waiting for the ability to communicate between your computer, jot down your thoughts, your notes from class, and put them on a calculator so that you could use it later. It's just an amazing device. Now there's your home key button on the right there. There's your down, uh, right, and just scrolling through the different applications on this particular device. And then going up to the calculator. Now the first thing to realize about this calculator is you have a couple of different modes. You have your scratch pad, your actual function pad, but right now I'm just going to type in a basic calculation. I believe 23 divided by 5. Now it gives you a fraction. However, you can press control and then enter again. So control, enter, and instead of giving you the exact fraction amount, it gives you the approximate decimal amount. And those of you who know how sequences work know that that's how they come up with this approximate answer using the sequence. And here is the graphing function. And here is another way. So you can use your finger to scroll through these things or the buttons themselves. This is, it's, it's great to actually have this on a device. Uh, you can save your work. So if you have a particular formula or equation that you worked out, you can save it all here. Control off, saves it, done. Just a quick look over the device again. You know, it's a beautiful device. Anyone should buy it hands down. Now, here is the TI Inspire CX actually plugged in to a computer. Uh, this is actually my Surface on the right. 
uh, and this is the calculator on the left. Now, notice here that you can actually charge your calculator by having it plugged into your computer, which is kind of nice to have that functionality there. So if we look at the desktop application for the TI Inspire, the student software rather, go ahead and tap on that, open it up, you'll see this control board where you can make actual changes to the documentation and do the actual graphing itself here. So for more information, hit us up at stltechtalk.com for the full finished review. Thanks for watching, everybody.